five tips to make your first coaching sessions more impactful. Tip number one, make your sessions longer. In the first session, you need to do so many things. You need to build rapport. And for those of you who have learned NLP, you know how to do that very quickly to build a bond of trust intentionally. Second of all, you need to do a lot of information gathering. And so there's a lot of time for that. And though you need to have the information to help your client, it's not a wow. So that's an issue right there. So you need to make your sessions longer to, to deal with that so that in the session you can do also something else, either a technique, an exploration, something that is a, a way more of an aha. Tip number two, a lot of us use the live wheel. If you don't know what the live wheel is, I have one for sale for like $4. If you use Canva on our website, uh, go to our shop at globalnlptraining.com backslash simply go to the store. There's 1500 free resources available as well in that location. So when you do the live wheel, you have to NLP that up. You have to make that more meaty in, term, in terms of turn, turning it into a wow, something that just jumps out of the awareness. And so many people know this live wheel already, you have to juice it up. So juice it up with three NLP techniques, uh, three NLP questioning techniques from the NLP meta model. Who specifically, what specifically, how specifically, and explore the entire, all the little pieces of the life wheel in that way. It will actually allow unconscious, unrevealed, un information that is not readily available or within the awareness of the client to actually become conscious. So you can create that aha. Uh -huh. Tip number three, include PERMA into your first coaching sessions. What the hell is PERMA? PERMA is the scientifically determined pillars of well-being by Martin Seligman, Dr. Martin Seligman from the University of Pennsylvania. And PERMA stands for positive emotions, engagement and flow, positive relationships, meaning and purpose, achievement and accomplishment. If you go to other parts of this channel or YouTube channel, you'll feel you'll find more. What is the scientific definition of, of happiness and well-being? You'll find a bigger explanation on that. And much like the live wheel, you want to explore that. What specifically is your level of satisfaction with the P, with the E, with the R, with the M, with the A, if you get what I'm saying. Okay. What's the fourth thing that you want to do is nuggets. What the hell do I mean with nuggets? Nuggets are pieces of information that you hopefully have learned in your coach training, in the books that you've read, in, the, uh, in an NLP training, you will have learned many of them because you'll know how the brain programs itself, strategically operates or not. You present these nuggets that the client doesn't know, but you do know that relate to their world. So that means that you educate. And that nugget, it can be as simple as knowing the difference scientifically between an extrovert and an introvert. It can be the difference in knowing the five different perceptions that people have in terms of how they view the world. It could be understanding the 15 markers of emotional intelligence, whatever it is, you need to come with a teaching or an aha that the client can think about after the session is over to actually reflect and explore and learn more without you being there. That's when you, how you amp that up. Tip number five is you need to do a value solicitation. You need to learn how to do that properly, which is an NLP master practitioner techniques that is taught by some NLP training companies. So that would be my uh, idea. And if you want to hire a former student of mine or access 1500 free resources or check out our trainings on Bali, Mexico, Portugal, Los Angeles, Miami, and uh, Amsterdam, I mentioned Amsterdam, um, then go to globalnlptraining.com backslash simply and check out all our other stuff.
See you around.